I do step back, take in a moment. I was wondering kind of what's going through Brett's mind. You know, two weeks ago he's in Syracuse, and now he's sitting in this environment. And very much, you know, we think the environment's as good, if not better, at City Field. And just thinking about uh, what's going to go through his head there on Thursday. Um, I try not to talk too much to him and cloud his. He's got enough challenges going on. But uh, everybody's proud of the people that come up through their system. You think about the scout, you think about the player development people, you think about the parents, you think about all the things that went into getting to this point. Now it's about, it's actually easier, I think, in some ways to get here than it is to stay here because it's a hard, it's a critical, and there are always people, I'm not going to be the guy that's telling him what he can't do, you know. I would like to dwell on what he can do. He's going to be a good player. It's not if, it's when. And he's been good for us already. He's helped us. You know, that looks like we're going to get Escobar Friday or Saturday. Looks like we're going to – we got Nito back. Uh, I think Carrasco is we – got, we got a definitive time when he we think he's going to be back now. Uh, Guy Ramey's making progress at some point. We'll, but what usually happens is somebody else has an issue. But um, without talking about their players, our, our guy, Beatty, it's, it's been fun to kind of – see the game through his eyes a little bit. Gotta make sure he gets plenty of sunscreen in uh, the day games. Pretty pretty pale guy. 